What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I've tried a lot of action cameras. I've probably tried about a hundred action cameras. And with most action cameras, you get great um, video quality, but the sound quality isn't that great from the internal microphone. And this is kind of the case with the GoPro 8. Well, I mean, the internal microphone in the GoPro 8 is probably one of the better ones that I've tried so far, but it could always be better. So GoPro came up with something to make the microphone recordings better, basically, and that is called the media mod. So this right here is the media mod, and you can buy this for about $80. Now, when you install this on your GoPro 8, the GoPro 8 isn't waterproof anymore because you have to remove the battery door in order to install the media mod on your GoPro 8. So if you have this installed on your GoPro, definitely don't take them in water because they're both gonna die. So the media mod is kind of like a plastic case that slides um, over your GoPro 8. But with this plastic case, you basically get a shotgun microphone. Well, two basically, one on the front of the case and one on the back. And you can either use the front or the back or the front and the back together. You can select that right on the GoPro. So it depends how you're holding the camera, if you plan on talking behind the camera or if you plan on talking in front of the camera, you can select um, which microphone you should use. You also have two cold shoe mounts, so you can attach like a light, you can attach an external microphone, or depending on your setup, you can make this um, setup yours, basically. So it gives you more flexibility to things that you can actually attach to the GoPro. So on the back of the media mode, we have an HDMI port and you can technically use that to the cable so you can see whatever you have on your GoPro on the TV. But the main purpose for that HDMI port, I believe, is going to be that the display mode that's coming out in the next month or so. So I highly believe that that will be connected um, to that um, HDMI port and um, basically you'll have a selfie screen for your um, GoPro. Under that, we have a USB-C port so you can charge the GoPro and just below that we have a 3.5mm audio jack um, so you can attach any external microphones. And personally, I believe that that 3.5mm audio jack is the most important thing for this um, media mode and you'll understand why after um, you see the sample recordings that I've done um, with this microphone, with the internal microphone um, on the GoPro 8 and um, with an external microphone. Now, of course, it depends what kind of external microphone you have. Some are more expensive, some are cheaper. I personally use one of these. I believe I paid about $50 for this one. And I feel that this one offers the best value for, um, for the money. But again, different people have different microphones, more expensive, cheaper, etc. And um, you can select all that from um, the GoPro's um, settings menu, depending on the microphone that um, you have connected. And with that being said, why don't we check out those sample recordings that I've done? I have some sample recordings done in the car, or it was nice and quiet. And I have some sample recordings done um, outside um, where it's windy, where there is traffic, etc. So let's check those out and I'll be right back. All right, this is a quick audio test um, using the front microphone from the media mode. I'm currently recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. And as you can probably see for yourself, I am inside the car and all the windows are closed. So this is how the microphone sounds if you are recording with a front microphone on the media mode. This is a quick audio test um, using the internal microphone from the GoPro 8. Once again, I'm recording in 4K, 30 frames per second. And as you can probably see for yourself, I am inside the car and all the windows are closed. So no other noise aside from my voice. So this is how the internal microphone from the GoPro 8 sounds like. For our next test, I'm using the media mod once again, but now I'm recording with the front and the rear microphone. So I have both microphones recording at the same time. I guess this would be good um, if you're having a conversation with someone. So you have someone um, behind um, the camera and someone in front of the camera. So this is how uh, the media mod microphones sound um, under this condition. So basically recording in 4K, 30 frames per second and inside the car with the windows um, closed. All right, we are moving on to another audio test um, using the front microphone on the media mode. Now, this time around, I am outside and it is fairly windy. You're probably going to hear some traffic to my right and the water to my left. But under these conditions, so basically with some wind and recording in 4K, this is how the microphone, basically the microphone, the front microphone from the media mode sounds like. And we are moving on to another test, but this time around I've removed the media mod and I'm recording on the internal microphone from the GoPro 8. 
Now I think the wind died, uh, died down a bit, but you can still hear the traffic to my left and uh, the water uh, to my right or the other way around. So this is how a recording with the internal microphone would sound um, on the GoPro 8. All right, for our next test, um, I am talking behind the GoPro 8 because I'm basically walking and talking behind the GoPro 8. And this is how a recording from the internal microphone um, would sound. Next, I'm going to install the media mode. I'll switch the microphone to the rear microphone and we'll see how that one sounds. All right, so I'm in the exact same spot as I was before, but now I've installed the media mode on the GoPro 8 and uh, I'm recording with the rear microphone because I'm basically facing the microphone, but I'm not facing the camera. You know, um, you know what I mean? So this is how um, a recording would sound if you're using the media mode and the rear microphone on a fairly windy day with some traffic to my right and um, some water noise to my left. All right, and we are moving on to our last test because it is extremely cold out today. Well, not extremely cold, it is cold. So for this taste, um, test, I've installed an external microphone. You can probably see the microphone right here. So if I tap on the microphone, you're obviously going to hear that. So this is how a recording um, would sound like if you connect an external microphone to the media mode. So the 3.5mm audio jack that's on the back of the media mode. Once again, I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. It is a bit windy and um, you're going to hear some uh, water noise to my left and some traffic to the right. So this is how an external microphone would sound connected to the media mode. And as you've probably heard for yourself, there wasn't that much of a difference whenever I was using the microphone on the media mode and the, whenever I was using the microphone on the GoPro 8, so the internal microphone on the GoPro 8. Now, I did notice a difference whenever I was recording behind the camera. So whenever you're recording behind the, the GoPro 8, well, it sounds much better if you're actually using the media mode because um, you get the sound right into the camera. Otherwise, the sound would kind of go around the camera because the internal microphone on the GoPro 8, it's um, placed on the front. So that was the biggest um, difference that I've noticed. Now, you've probably noticed how much better um, the external microphone sounded. And that's why I said that um, having this 3.5mm audio jack here, it was the most important thing for this um, media mod. There is also a bit of a downside using the media mode with your um, GoPro 8. Of course, the GoPro 8 is going to be heavier, it's going to be bigger. And whenever you're trying to take out the SD card, you basically have to take everything apart. So if you have a setup like this, you basically have to take out the screw first. So you have to take this off, then you open the media mode and then you take out the GoPro. So it takes like 2-3 minutes to do that. Not to mention that if you're using any mount with your GoPro, the screw can only go on this side. So on the left hand side of the media mount, there is a cutout in the plastic there. Because if you're trying to put a screw on the other side, well, it's a bit difficult to do. Not to mention that you're going to block this little uh, cutout so you can actually open the media mode. But for um, getting better sound with an external microphone, because that was the most important thing for me, I think the media mode is totally worth it. I mean, this microphone here could have been a bit better in my opinion, mostly when you're spending $80 for a plastic case. That's kind of made out of super cheap plastic, not to mention that I've um, had this for a few days and it's crashed all over. So pretty much every time you touch the media mode, you get scratches on the plastic. But for me, it's worth it because I can actually get better sound for the GoPro 8 and the GoPro 8 has some um, one of the best um, video qualities out there. We have better um, image stabilization than most action cameras and so on. So for me, it's totally worth um, buying this for 80 bucks just so I can get that um, external microphone in an easier way because there was another way before the media mode, but it didn't look that great and so it was um, a bit um, more difficult uh, to use. Alright guys, um, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you did like the video, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.